Hi, Ashwini. Hi, sir. Can I have your resume? Yeah, sure, sir. Okay, Ashwini, tell me about yourself. Yeah, sure, sir. Firstly, thank you for giving me this opportunity to tell myself. My name is Ashwini. I am from Mandra. Recently, I completed my graduation. Coming to my strength, I am self-motivated person. Coming to hobbies, my hobbies, reading books and playing games. That's all about myself. Yeah, okay. So, your technical skills? Uh, I am good at Python and Manual Testing. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we are uh, looking for the manual. Is it okay for you? Yeah, it's okay for me. Sir. Yeah, okay. So, in manual, are you done any training or internships? Yeah, okay, so yeah, let me tell you what is software. Software is collection program in company to perform basic tasks. Yeah, okay. So yeah, like which type of softwares you know? Uh, Google Chrome, Firefox. Like uh, coming up. Uh, Google Chrome is kind of some web web developer, web top web software, and uh, under Photoshop you can uh, edit some images and all. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fine. So, yeah, what is manual testing? Uh, manual testing is a type of software testing to evaluate, uh, to identify bugs and uh, defects by using some automation tools like Selenium without using, without using any human interactions. The, uh, the course must be predefined in that automation testing. Uh, the main use of the pre automation testing is to, uh, to reduce in time and as well as we can give the actual value. Yeah, okay. So, what is the difference between general end user also you can do testing? So what is the difference between the testing and the software testing? Uh, the difference between testing and software testing is uh, in testing the user can find out the defects and bugs. In the software testing the, the users must be find out verification and validating. The test cases must be verified and validated with some functionalities. Okay. So if you are finding the defects what you can do? I need to verify it. Like uh, you self you can verify and you are submitting to another person. I, I need to verify myself and I can go through the some hard tools. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, fine. So, while you are performing the testing, you are getting some like abnormal behaviors, like expectation not matching to the actual. So, as a tester, your point of view, what you are finding and what are the responses you are getting from the developer? Uh, some uh, errors, defects, failures. Yeah, okay. So, what are the differences that errors and failures and defects? Yeah, there is a human uh, human abnormalities. A uh, human can find a human can do the mistake. Like example, uh, compile the error, syntax error, intent okay. error. These are the human mistakes. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, failure means? Failure means uh, the marketer find out any mistake when when project is included. So that is called as a failure. So, you avoid that bug word. Yeah. Bug. Now, what is the bug differed with defect? Uh, bug, uh, bug means uh, the uh, tester find out uh, any defect while testing, uh, the while testing application. The tester find out any mistake like a uh, defect and bug. Yeah, okay. So, how many testings we have in software testing? Uh, smoke testing, sandy testing. Yeah, okay. Like I am saying approaches. Uh, yeah. Like manual and Art automation. automation. Mm -hmm. So, you were, uh, no, you aware that word automation testing? Yeah. So, tell me in your view, what is automation testing? Automation testing is a type of software testing to identify the defects and bugs by using some software tools. For like example, Selenium and all. So, without any human interactions. Okay, fine. So, in your view, which testing is better, either manual or automation? Yeah, okay. So, what is the difference between project and product? Uh, an application developer for specific client requirement is called as product. An application developer for multiple client requirements is called product. For example, for multiple uh, product means Google Chrome and uh, web browser apps and Adobe. These are the user renders. They must be used in multiple uh, clients. In a project, there must be one client. Example, TCS, yeah. project-based companies. No. So, okay, fine. Yeah, uh, that's okay. Uh, here, the development is completed. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, I not done any testing. Okay. It was completed. But I uh, does not done any testing. So, I released into market. What it will happen? Uh, in testing, we can release the software into market. We can uh, find out some end user must be uh, facing some issues like uh, defects, bugs, uh, and a lot of uh, usage. Like, uh, user must be dissatisfied with that application because we are not doing any testing. Like, uh, security also is not there. Uh, I hacking data. Mainly, the hackers can hack easily data because we are not running any testing.
purpose. Is testing is mandatory? Yes, the testing is mandatory. Why? Why it is mandatory means so we can face some uh, issues. Yeah, we don't okay. know without using uh, some testings like the uh, application was developed, the user must be facing some issues. So that's why when we are done testing, we can, we can easily just know that the uh, user must be satisfied. So that's why we can use testing. Yeah, okay, fine. So tell me any test case. So you know, like uh, in training time, you are writing some test cases. Yeah. So tell me any two, three test cases for, take your own example. Uh, for example, mobile. Yeah, okay. If you are uh, giving uh, some uh, test cases, like uh, if you are going to further in uh, mobile, we can uh, access by password and fingerprints like a uh, face. There are some, there are some three, uh, three cases in the phone. One is the password. When you give some uh, correct password, you can go to further. When you are giving wrong password, it gives you some uh, error, like incorrect password. And facing, uh, when you are using some uh, correct faces, it will go further. When you are giving some not, not match, faces not matched, it goes some error. Yeah, okay, so and fine. Lift also. Yeah, okay, uh, are you aware about the development process? Yeah. Like uh, SDLC, like that. Can you explain? SDLC means software development life cycle. It is of the software development life cycle. There is some uh, planning, design, and uh, there must be. Uh, developer must be uh, design some planning, uh, designing, and test cases. Yes. Okay, so it will uh, end with? The? It will end with the quality tree. Maintenance. Maintenance it will be. Okay. So testing was followed before testing or after testing? Testing was followed uh, after before testing. Sorry, testing was followed after development or before development. Testing was developed after developing after developer after developer developing the test application we can further into procedure. So uh, I am telling that before the development also there is a testing. Are you agree with that? Like uh, yes, why? Because we have a document testing. Okay, so document verification we have. Okay, are you know any verification technique use? Verification. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So it is coming under higher management team like inspections, walkthroughs, reviews. This much of things. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's fine. So uh, let me tell last. You find it one defect. How can you send the defect to developer? Ah, uh, by using some uh, tools. Okay. So, any content you can prepare for that? Uh, we need to uh, prepare very, uh, first we need to know that uh, test cases scenarios. Okay. So that we can go to further. We can apply the test cases scenarios by using the software application then we can find out testing, test cases. Okay. If the developer was rejected your work, what you can do? Uh, again, I can find out any mistake in uh, developing. Okay, he was again saying there is a defect. He was saying there is no defect. What you can do? Again, I need to find out a new mistake and I can send. I can resend the. Bug. Yes. So you need to say like I can maintain screenshot. Okay, or live sharing. Okay. That time we are like uh, like that we need to explain. Okay. So tell me one defect tracking tool. Defect tracking tool. Uh, anyone? Uh, like uh, Jira. Okay. So, yeah, uh, finally one thing, so which development process presently in uh, trending in a market, development process? Jira tool. Jira tool is okay. Like I am asking which uh, SDLC process? SDLC process. SDLC. So inside the SDLC there is a lot of models. Which one is like presently trending? Uh, Agile. Yes, Agile with Scrum process. Yeah. Okay, so can I okay with your profile? How many days you can take for a join? Oh, within one Within one day I will join. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay Ashwini, so I'm done with myself. You have any questions to ask? Uh, if, if I'm selecting for the manual testing, what is my uh, position? Like what can I do? So there is a like, uh, your responsibility is you need to find the, like you need to study the requirement and you need to fight the defects and you need to report to the developer and as well as your team lead and after developer fixing the defects you need to follow the retesting and after the retesting so you need to make it as a fixed or not and you need to provide the report exact status of the defect either it is closed or still it was working so that is your responsibilities and we are so you are interested with some other position so based on your performance so we are giving a chance to work with the automation okay 
so before that we are making some client interviews for you for automation so is it okay with you like uh, you can proceed for next we will proceed for next process yeah, sure. yeah you have any questions yeah fine okay ashwini you can be